Um, there was a lot, a lot of card reveals, and I mean a lot of card reveals uh, that happened in, in, in OCG land that uh, we're, we're, we're eventually going to get. So, so it's interesting to talk about it in that sense. But uh, there were some things. There were some things. And I'm just going to... And again, like I said, there's a lot of people that uh, that uh, that have done this, that's talked about these cards in way greater length than I'm ever going to. So I'm just gonna, I'm just basically gonna give you guys a quick rundown. Uh, if anything's interesting, I'll make mentions of it. But um, but yeah, let's uh, let's let's get right into this here. All right, guys. So we're just gonna briefly go over what's been new in OCG land. But uh, keep in mind, there've been there've been a lot that came out of Japan last week. A lot. Uh, most of it were just announcements, but there was a lot of card reveals as well. So let's first let's first start off with some of the announcements, right? So new structure deck, new structure deck coming out. You guys are gonna love this Sacred Beast, Sacred Beast of Chaos structure deck. It's coming March twenty twenty, March twentieth twenty twenty of next year. It's happening. They made it happen. Can you imagine how badly somebody wanted this to happen? They were like, make it happen. But they, but they voted on the on the on the shit off. Make it happen. Make it happen. And they made they made it happen. Somebody really wanted this in Konami. Someone was uh, someone was like, no, no, it's gonna happen anyway. It's gonna happen anyway. Now now it's happening. I I think I think of the list that people voted on. I think every card on that list, to some to some capacity, um. Uh, not not card. Uh, every theme on that list, to some capacity, is going to be getting support within the next couple of uh, couple of years. I think it's just a matter of when. And when they did that poll, they were trying to gauge at that. They were trying to see, okay, okay, they um they want it. They want these more than they want these. But uh, I think they're all going to come. But yeah, so that that's happening. That's happening. Next up here, we also have some uh some structure deck from the the Shadal structure deck. We got some new card reveals. Um, these were, um, these were pretty interesting, I think. They were, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know enough, I want to say, about Shadals to say if these are good support cards for them or not. Uh, I just, I, I just don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But, uh, but, yeah, so they got about four, four cards revealed. One, um, a new version of Winda. Um, they got a trap card here, uh, Rishadal Incarnation, crazy, and they, uh, yeah, and then, uh, I guess this was a reprint, this Falco, yeah, these were reprints, because we already have these, so, uh, Falco got reprinted, um, Beast got reprinted, Black Luster Soldier got reprinted, BLS, that's interesting. That's interesting, because it was reprinted as a common in our legendary collection deck. But now, uh, I guess, I don't think they got, that was a, that was a, that was a TCG exclusive product. Also. We have another print into this guy coming. Um, all versions of this card is worth some type of money for some reason. It's not a whole lot of money, but it's some money. Um, yeah, yeah, so, so, I'm just going to scroll through here so you guys can see the reprints. Living Fossil getting a reprint, that's an interesting one. That was, um, that was a Battle of Legend exclusive, so it's interesting to see them reprint that. Um, but yeah, I think, and then whatever this is, uh, well, yeah, uh, and the links again will be down to, uh, in the description below. So I'm not trying, I'm not trying to read all these cards to you. There's, uh, there's other YouTubers that do that, but, uh, but just, yeah, next up, next up, <laughs> there's a new, a new deck pack, you know, Mystic Fodders, it's in the past already. They're not even, they're not even looking at that OCG. They're like, nah, what was that? They don't even care. They're, they're already onto this. Secret Slayers. It's coming in March 7th, 2020. So we're probably going to... That's going to be our, like, April? April? No. Yes? We might get this in, like, April, June? Don't quote me. I'm not good at release dates. But uh, it's going to come. It's going to come to us in about the same time frame, I think. Just, like, a one or two months apart. But, um... But, yeah. Five cards per pack, you know, it's normal OCG deck builder pack type of thing. But uh, Secret Slayers, what do you guys think that means? You let me know down below. Oh, also, guys, uh, real quick, real quick before we jump into the next topic, if you're not, you're not subscribed, maybe, maybe do that right now. Maybe subscribe, 
hit the hit the like button you know you know drop a comment down let me know let me know if you like the way these videos are structured if you want to change you know I'm out here got the Instagram if you guys want to plugging myself so hard gonna <laughs> check out my Instagram it's uh it's out here uh, I got uh, what is this I got the I got the Twitter you know I'm, I'm out here Twitter oh really quick just just look at this this is the this is the 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 gold box that they're getting in OC we're gonna talk about that in a little bit we're gonna talk about that in a little bit but uh that's what the box looks like let's see if I get a better picture here oh yeah oh yeah look at that look at that oh man Let's go, let's go. Ooh, Dark Magician. Dark Magician. Why, you know, this would have made, imagine this in like beautiful, like the, the metal they use on the Gold Sark tins. Can you imagine if there was like, this was that metal. That's, that's beautiful. Like, oh, blue eyes. This guy, this guy, I gotta show you. Gotta show you that blinged out blue eyes, right? I, I'm not a fan. Uh, <laughs> I think it looks ugly as hell, but uh, yeah, the box, the box looks cool. The box looks cool. Hopefully it's not gold when it comes here, you know? And then the red eyes one that nobody really no one really cares about. But uh moving it along. Moving along, yeah. Who is my uh it's my channel. It's my <laughs> that one. These are I'm gonna be more diverse guys. This this video is a uh, testament to that. Gonna be we're gonna be more diverse. But yeah, um, you're keeping it along with the OCG news here. So yeah, aside from the um, the, the the new deck build pack coming, there's also the new core set that's coming, and I think this is the first one after the the the, the conclusion of the Link era. So this should be introducing whatever the next generation of Yu-Gi-Oh is. It's uh, what are they calling it? Or, or maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe this is the last one. I could I could be wrong. Don't quote me. Um. Uh, it's called Eternity Code. You know, they, there was a few cards revealed. Let's um, let's clean this up real quick. Yeah, a lot of Cyberus stuff. You know, still keeping with that Cyberus team. Sign it, mining. Hint, hint. You know, that card is <laughs> card either needs a reprint or uh, it is gonna it's gonna hit some dumb numbers. For a card that was overprinted, it's gonna hit some dumb numbers. Um, yeah. So you got uh, you got Access Code Talker here. I think this one negates. Or banishes. It banishes a link monster, destroy one card. Also, you cannot banish another monster with the same action. Oh, oh, but it's not once per turn, so you could just keep destroying things. I mean that's alright. It's alright. We got here proxy F magician. Um Fusion Summon. So it's like a fusion summon. Which is I guess it's cool. I mean I don't know. I don't know. Until these cards actually see play, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not I'm not the guy you come to when you're trying to build a good deck. I mean if it sounds good, it might be good, but uh, in a vacuum, I mean, I think the argument has been had many times that anything, anything can sound good in a vacuum, but uh, it's when it's put into practice that you can really test for how well it is. But um, yeah, we're just gonna scroll through here. Uh, there's the Link Six. That's the biggest takeaway from all this. There's a, uh, we just got like one, one Link Five, right? One Link Five, and they're like six. But sir, we don't even have that many spots. It's six. Put it out there. Put it out there. So I expect to see more Link Fives and Link Six emerge now. Um, but my God, a, a Link Six? That's it's a lot of three plus monsters with different attributes. That's man, man. That's a lot of that's a lot of resources. I mean, but it's not affected by other card effects. Um, I don't think that protects it from being kaiju'd over though. Like you could still kaiju you over this card so you know I don't know how much play is gonna take is gonna see for all the resources taken and I also you get a you get a token token generator you know and then number of monster I mean it could become big I guess it could become big I don't know I don't know who's trying to OTK like that but you know it's an option there you got uh you got two more cards here but yeah, I'll link it down below if you guys want to check those out you could also pause the video give it a read but um but yeah that's uh that got announced. Next up here, we also have uh, the the premium pack, um, and premium packs they're uh, they're distributed I think in Shonen Jump events. There's a there's a Shonen Jump event coming out where you can buy these, and we got here uh, a Fusion Warrior, Gearfried. Um, I didn't read any of these cards. I don't know. If, <laughs> I don't know if they're good or not. Okay. 
My goal isn't to discuss these cards. I'm just, I'm just here to give the information, man. Uh, Crystal Girl, I thought this one was pretty cool. Um, if this card's normal summoned, you can, um, you can add one level five water monster from your deck to your hand, so it searches level five or higher water searches from your, from your deck to your hand. That's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, if it's in your graveyard and you control a level five or higher monster, you can special summon it, but it banishes. Then uh, you have an Ultra Geist Link Four. Which I heard, you know, it, it, it might be good. You got, oh, there's some plant stuff. Plant hype. There's a lot of plant hype going around with Rose Princess, uh, White Rose. Uh, so if you're, a, if you're a plant lover, Black Rose Dragon um, support. Right here. Right here. Premium pack. I don't know. I don't know how we get these. I don't know if it's something that's um, split up into different sets or if it's like... Um, I'm probably getting like a side set or something, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure when we're gonna have those cards imported, but yeah, moving it along. Um, about two, two, two to three weeks ago, we had the first three cards from the legendary gold box revealed. Um, but these are the last three. Um, we have a uh, future number zero. So these are based off of uh, Yuma, the five D guy, Yuya. Yuma, Yuya. I don't know. I don't know their names. I forgot their names. Um, this one is a. Uh, t- this is a reprint. This is a reprint. Oh no, this one isn't a reprint. The um, Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon. I think that's new. So I don't know how good these cards are. Again, again, I don't. I don't think they're too good. I think they're more collectors for uh, collector value than anything else. But yeah, this this one is pretty cool. Uh, the decode. Uh, the decode talker for uh, Heat Soul. It's only two Cybers monster. Um, you get the it's a free draw. You pay a thousand, you get a draw, and then um, you can banish this and special summon out any of the cybers from your extra deck, except this, which is pretty cool. And then you get the reprints here. But yeah, I, I thought I thought that was interesting. So that's something to keep in mind when you're looking at that card. Um, I do think we're gonna get this set in our like our, these cards. I think are gonna come in our match or in our March reprint set. I think that's where we're gonna get these legendary gold box cards from. But uh, you know, I could be I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Of course, I showed you guys this earlier, but um, that's uh, Nugio News on Twitter. If you guys want to follow them, check them out. They post some really good stuff. Next up. Next up. This is a big one. This is a big one. This is what you guys have been waiting for. So, guys, have been waiting for Link Range Pack 3. We are still getting support for old archetypes. There is too many archetypes in Yu-Gi-Oh! If you guys, if you guys, uh, you guys see my backdrop, um... I tried to incorporate as many Yu-Gi-Oh archetype into the into the backdrop here as I could. I don't know if you guys can list them all. If you guys know all of them, but uh, a lot. It's too many. It's too, I was looking this up. It's too many. It's too many. It's too many of these. Too many. But um, looking at uh, looking at Link Brains Pack Three here, we have uh, a, the one card that comes out as a as note is uh is this is this Union Carrier card, which allows you to um. It essentially allows you to target any uh, face-up monster you control, uh, and then you get to equip uh, one monster with the same original type um, from your deck, right? Am I correct in, in that? Target one face-up monster you control, equip one monster with the same name, original type, and deck from your hand, or deck. It's crazy. Just get a card out of deck, equip it. Get to go. That's what you needed to do. The evil hero card is also seeing some, um, you guys like how I just... I would just slide it over the, the ancient gear card there. <laughs> no, no, no. The evil, the evil hero card, it, it, it's insane. You reel a hero fusion monster and you just get to add to the fusion materials listed on it to your hand. It's crazy. It's crazy. This is a card you end with. You know, you don't got to you know, go into it right away when, you, when you're ready, when you ready to make the, the last plays. Because then it locks you into heroes um, for the rest of the turn. Or is it the turn you activate? Oh, so it locks you into heroes no matter what. But I, I think I know. I mean, there's a lot of hero cards now that uh maybe maybe being locked into heroes isn't that bad. There's also a reptile one. There was uh the ancient, ancient gear one, which caused you guys seen the price of ancient gear fusion? R- ridiculous! It's ridiculous right now. It's crazy. But yeah, there was also uh what is this? A melodious link. Um, and then, uh, then they did the, the, the TV broadcast where they announced all but one. So I think there's only one left that they haven't really announced. So the list so far we have is the Mecha Phantom Beast one. For Mecha Phantom Beast players out there, you know, you got it. 
You got you got Abyss Actor. You got uh, we're supporting Sky Strikers now. They got a link. They got a link too. I don't know if it's good or not, but they got a link too. Um, there was a Tenyi Link Four. You know why my picture's not loading? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there with that. But uh, artifact. Let me um let me refresh this page real quick. Let me see what's going on here. I need my pictures. Maybe if I let's see if we scroll regularly. Yeah, I mean it shows up. You know they're not the most HD. They're not the most HD pictures. But um, what is this? What's this ad? Uh, I mean I don't, I don't like the fact that they're they're playing these. These videos irk me. The videos that pop up and play, like I'm okay with normal ads, but like I can't, I can't do those videos, man. Those videos, they, they, they irk me so much. Herald, they got their own link as well. Um, Submorg. I don't know if anyone will use these. Like the last set of link range, we're still waiting on needle fiber, bro. We're still waiting on the first link range. There is no telling when we're getting any of this stuff. That's what's crazy. That's what's crazy to me is we don't know. We don't know when it's coming. We just know that it's coming. We just we don't know when, or if needle fiber. I mean, God, everyone thought, oh, next set, next set, never came. Mayakashi, they they got a link. Just keeping it on, keeping going in there. Uh, Mayakashi's got a link. Um, and yeah, yeah, there's still one more I think that needs to be revealed. Again, the link will be down below. Anyone want to check that out? But there's still one more that we haven't we haven't know heard about. Uh, interesting tidbit here. Uh, some some ruling. Um, we got some ruling. Uh, rules release release judge release released. Um. Legendary Duelist 6, uh, if you guys want to go through, give it a read. But uh, essentially, just uh, it's just explaining how cards interact with each other. You still can't search the eye of Tamias. But uh, <laughs> it's, just, it's a common question people might have about these type of cards that uh, potentially aren't answered. So uh, down, the, down in the description, I'll have that link so you guys can go in and you can check it out, give it a read. Yeah. Make sure you know your readings, you know, know your ruins. It's good to know. It's good to know. Next up, um, this this is this one. This one's an important one. This one, um, it's an interesting one. I also have a Twitter. Oh, not a Twitter, Reddit. Okay. I don't think you go follow people on Reddit. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, that's not the point. That's not the point. That's not what I'm getting. That's not what I'm getting. At. That's not what I'm getting. At. Uh, what I'm getting at here is uh, this guy over here made a nice, nice little interesting post. Product sold out. Legendary Duelist Six selling out in Japan. He can't even get his hand on it. Amazon, Amazon can't get their hand. Amazon get their hand. Right? Amazon can't get their hand on this. So it's uh, it's interesting. I'm gonna link it down below if anyone give it a read. But uh, it is the number one best selling trading card, beating any Pokemon or Dual Monster Pro. Y'all better get this. Y'all better get this Duelist. That's crazy. That's crazy. But yeah, yeah, moving along here, moving along here. Um, there was also some ruling updates for more, you know, the OCG does this occasionally a week to week, month to month. Whenever they feel there's enough, whenever, or, you know, YG, <laughs> YG organization out here feels it's, uh, they have enough, they, uh, they, they post one of these and it just explains rulings between interactions between certain cards. So, again, if you're big on ruling, and you're not checking out MSG.TV because they do some great videos discussing card rulings. This is also a nice source you guys could check out. Link in the description below. And last up here, last up for the for the for the OCG news here. Look at this playmat. Oh, oh got your attention now. Look at this playmat. Look at this. Look at this gorgeous. Can I? Can I make that? Look at this playmat. Look at this. Look at the beautiful play. Anyway. If you go to the if you're going to the Asian convention in Singapore 2019 you get this uh exclusive play match you get a chance or is it a is it not another yeah I think you also get a yeah it's a participation gift that's crazy I'm getting this this goes on eBay 
picking one of these up. I'm getting one of these. But uh, but yeah, yeah, that's really. I think that's all I have on OCG this uh this week. It's again these 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 um OCG is dependent. I mean, most of it is coming out of. I'm not gonna lie. Most of it. Uh, most of this news is coming out of uh Yu-Gi-Oh organization. They do a great job. They do a great job of getting this information. But um. But yeah, yeah, no, um, that, that's, that's, that's what I got. I, I...